Mr. President, yesterday Mrs. Mahvash Sabit was released after having completed her sentence of 10 years of imprisonment. She was one of the Yaran, a group of seven members that manage the spiritual and administrative affairs of the Baha'i community in Iran. While the Baha'i community is certainly pleased to see Mrs. Sabit be reunited with family and friends, there is nothing to rejoice about as she is not yet fully free. When Mrs. Sabit entered the notorious Evin prison in 2008, the Baha'is in Iran lived in a society where their youths were deprived of access to higher education and public jobs. Small Baha'i-owned shops were attacked, their cemeteries were desecrated, they were vilified in state-sponsored media on a daily basis, and they were arbitrarily arrested and imprisoned solely for their beliefs. Today, ten years later, despite the rhetorical claims made by President Rouhani that all Iranians are granted equal rights as citizens, Baha'is face exactly the same forms of discrimination as they did back then, in education, in employment, in the courts, and in every other interaction in their daily lives. In one of her prison poems, Mrs. Sabit wrote, The day when no one is punished for the sake of her beliefs or subjected to another's will, the day when mothers won't be thrown into prison or abandon their children in ways so cruel, the day when persecution and detention cease and this oppressive siege comes to an end, that day you will be decked in honor and pride, for you too will have played your part in this crusade. Mr. President, it is high time that the international community plays its part in calling upon the Iranian government to cease its relentless persecution of a segment of its own population. Thank you.